Okay. This is going to start with my when I was young and how my walk away from the Republican Party started and why I was a free dog Democrat. Um, I, I always thought being conservative was a way of life. My parents were, my father was a conservative, I'm a Navy brat. He was in the Navy, and my mother was an isolationist, um, libertarian centric, because she's for the um, country, Americans first. Thank God she installed me with that, because now I'm not for legal immigrants. Also, um, about war. Like I said, I'm a Navy brat. My father was in the Navy. Um, and USS Tarawa. Um, and how I became always a supporter for the military. I love the military. Because my dad was part of the military. I had many friends and family who were in the military. So I'm a military supporter. But when I was a little, I hated war. Completely hated war. I didn't like how um, the innocents were being killed. Israel chose to go against um, the um, international treaty about the Geneva Convention, International Red Cross. Um, yes, I did work for the Red Cross, but the PC culture completely destroyed any chance that to happen. Um, I will explain later in another video. But anyway, I just did not like how Hamas and Hezbollah, yes, terrorist groups, I understand they need to be stopped, were starting um, weapons ha in places where innocent children or innocent people were being kept. Um, like I said, Israel is not doing a really good job. Still not a fan of Is um, Israel's paranoia and fight back and has been Hamas, you know, you know, bombing schools hospitals where innocents are dying or getting injured, creating more hate, more anger towards peace. And this year, they're bombing peaceful demonstrations because the protesters were throwing rocks. Rocks. Not grenades. Not shooting them. I understand Israel needs to stop that violence, but they were not throwing any military weapons. They weren't shooting people. They were throwing rocks. And they could have just easily threw bing bags or rocks back. Um, but I don't understand why they had to kill these people or seriously injure these people. They're only just creating hate. So that's my background of where I stand military-wise before 9-11. 9-11 did change that and totally got me to see what is necessary sometimes. We have to get the bad guys. Muslims tend to be bad. That if they're fundamentalist and Islamic terrorist, they're bad. But not all Muslims are bad. I have Muslim friends who are really good people. We cannot treat them like terrorists. So, war is not always necessary, in my opinion. But we do have to stop the terrorists before they attack us. 
but we have to find out the good before we kill them. And if anything bad happens, yeah, that's when we should go after the terrorists. Should go after the um, funding of the terrorists. But if they're good Muslims, no. We should not do anything about them. Like, um, as we go in Palestine, West Bank, and Jerusalem, and the thing is about Israel and their sentiment, settlements, Israel gave Palestine and the, um, Palestine the land. And they had a right to give them the land, but they don't have a right to take it away without asking for the man back, or suing for the man back. They cannot just build sentiments like they could anytime they want. Israel, the land is the Palestine's and the um, West Bankers. You never ask for the man back. You never want to court to get the man back. So the man is not yours. You gave them the land. Stop building sentiments. Else you can create more hate and more anger like that. And the world doesn't need any more. We already have it. Also, with North Korea, God bless Trump if this works. Trump is making peace work between us and North Korea. Let it happen. If anything goes wrong, Trump knows what to do. If it doesn't, if you stop him from letting it happen, there's going to be more distrust, mis this hardness towards us and lack of trust in us. So liberals, the press, and the people who are in his administration and the government, let him do his job and create peace. He is making his promises. Don't stop him now. Just walk away from what is right now. What could be in the future is peace. Just let him do his job. That's all I'm asking.